Hi Aries, welcome to Witchy Wednesday. I hope you're fantastic. Thank you for being here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on your tarot card reading. You may wanna check out the money spell. I also did video, you could check that out. It's a how to, step-by-step, -step, how to do a money spell to attract wealth and abundance into your life. So let's see what we're getting in the cards for Wednesday to Friday for you Aries. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping into my channel. Thank you for returning. Or if you're new, please hit subscribe if you'd like to subscribe, if you like the content. Okay, so let's see what we get here for you, Aries. First house of the Zodiac, ruled by Mars. Mars is in Aries with Jupiter. It's a very powerful time, actually. And with Saturn in retrograde, you could be actually reaping great abundance right now. Um, you could be reaping what you've been sown, sowing, um, harvesting what you have been putting out there, um, you know, increasing in profits. So let's see what we get here for Aries, please. Angels and guides, please show us Aries. Angels, spirits, what do we have for Aries coming up? Wednesday through Friday energies messages for Aries okay so it shows here that you're working hard towards creating abundant wealth in your life and things are um, coming in they are um, accumulating prosperity is starting to flow things are going along great the challenge is you possibly need sleep or you need to um, quiet the mind. Maybe you're very focused on accumulating wealth, which is good. Underlying the energy is Six of Cups, nostalgia or thinking about the past. Um, thinking about having very fond memories of your past. Um, so let's see, nostalgia. What have we got here coming in for Aries? Seven of coin. Yeah, you've been thinking about how to build a legacy. How do I increase? What can I do to get to that place of great abundant wealth? Um, wow, okay. So what you're becoming aware of in your um, conscious mind or what you'll be, um, what you'll know is there is a victory here coming. So there is a Six of Wands moment coming, which is about public recognition, accolades, standing out from the crowd, being seen and recognized. Very good energy, okay? Um, what's coming into the future? This is a positive reputation as well. Really good reputation. What do we have here in the future? Energies for the fire sign, Aries. Okay, you start to become overly concerned with something. Now, you start to th oh, think about something a lot. Your energy is busy. So you're going to be, it's almost like uh, be careful what you wish for. If you want to be rich and prosperous, you might be very, very busy. Um, so let's see, what are we getting? What's around Aries? What's in the environment? Okay, there is a king of wands. Um, leadership, this could also be how you're seen. You're seen as a leader, um, someone who takes charge, they give direction, they delegate. Um, it could also be a person who is around you, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You wanna be the magician, you wanna manifest things, you wanna bring things into existence. Um, you want to make have some control over your reality where you're bringing your ideas to life So let's see what the outcome is Page of cups interesting Ooh, This is be careful what you wish for you get either love or some very happy news here Pisces cancer Scorpio It has to do with emotions and feelings so you get a message about very strong feelings that either from a water sign or, you know, this could be love related. Um, it's also creative. So you start to feel like there's something that goes through your mind over and over again. That it's like a problem you're trying to solve or something you're trying to 
figure out. What is Eight of Swords here? What is Eight of Swords here? Show us Eight of Swords. Okay, there is an offer coming in. Water, sign, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, creative person, emotional person, a person that shows you love, care, and compassion. Um, what is this Ace of Cups for Aries then? New love, new happiness, new joy. What's going on here for Aries with this Ace of the Water? Okay, it's very competitive. Other people want this. Okay, Five of Wands, Two of Coin. This is like um, you're doing multiple things and other people are also wanting this. So, okay, what is this underlying energy of Six of Cups? Ooh, the death card of an Ace of Swords. Okay, so you get a major change and you get a victory through the truth. So, um... Okay, so you're having, it could be Scorpio energy. There is a victory through the truth. You get some very powerful information in the form of a message that has to do with feelings. What is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? Three of Wands, something you've been waiting for. Okay, it is something to do with something that's real, tangible, a contract, money, an investment, an Ace of the Coin. And it's something you've been waiting for. It could be a letter or a document. Um, so you have two aces. Ace of coin, ace of water, ace of earth. So it has to do with the way you feel and also something that's real. So you're becoming aware of fame. What is the six of wands here? Okay, emperor. Power, personal power. Standing out from the crowd, having personal power. So underlying energy is friendship, nostalgia. You get the truth or clarity about something that changed, which is the death card. What is the death here representing? Oh, wow. Ten of swords. There's a painful period that is over. Um, wow. Okay. Nine of cups, wishes coming true, and a two of cups. Um, a partnership, a love interest, someone who comes into your life. This is something you've been wishing for and hoping for um striving towards maybe it's a partnership maybe it's a business partnership somebody could be watching you here with the page of swords observing you watching you spying on you okay somebody is watching you perhaps because they want to learn from you five of coin ten of coin they want to learn how to do what you're doing because it says here that you get a gift or some kind of blessing that other people are wanting and striving for. Five of Wands. There's like this power struggle, two of coin, you know, um, juggling and people trying to get to that place. You're being given this amazing opportunity. It's something that has to do with emotional wish fulfillment and partnership. You and another person get this. Um, what you become aware of is six of wands and the emperor, which is, you know, fame, fortune, power, personal power, self-made millionaire, sort of this kind of an energy, self-made millionaire. Um, you get this knight of water and a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could have fire in their chart. They could be a very ambitious person, like an entrepreneur, um, what you want to be is the magician. So that says to me, like, you've got ideas that you want to bring into, into fruition, into your life. You've got a lot of plans or creative energy. You've got a lot of ideas that you want to bring into the here and now. So you're going to get this message from the page of cups and ace of cups. But the energy here is you've been waiting for this with the sun and Aries. This is, um, personally, you've been waiting for this. And there is an ace of coin attached to this. So it looks really, really good. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do uh, the um, herbal witch at this moment in time. Because I already did my herbal money casting spell video. And I did another video on banishing. So you could check those out in the playlist under herbal spells. You can check that out. Um, but this is your midweek witchy Wednesday. 
Thank you, Aries, for tuning into my channel and take care. Bye.